Welcome to Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS channel partner, we sell and support products from ANSYS Inc. in the Four Corner States and Nevada. In addition, we provide consulting and training in ANSYS tools worldwide. These tools provide simulation capabilities in fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, as well as systems and multiphysics applications. Hey guys, this is Manoj with PADT. In today's focus video blog, I'm going to show you how to use ACT or ANSYS Customization Toolkit to change the default settings for any analysis in ANSYS Mechanical. So here we are in Workbench where I've brought in a static structural analysis with a geometry attached to it. Again, as mentioned before, this type of idea of creating default settings profile can not only be applied to a static structural analysis, but any of the thermal analysis, transient structural, transient thermal, etc. Essentially anything utilizing the mechanical interface, for now. So here we are in ANSYS Mechanical where you can see I've brought in a diaphragm assembly example. Now looking at this analysis, we can kind of safely assume that we're probably going to do a nonlinear structural analysis with this type of geometry. And that type of analysis requires some change in settings, including changing the shape checking under mesh from standard mechanical to aggressive mechanical, or under analysis settings where we change the large deflection to on and change the auto time stepping to on to use sub steps to iterate through the solution. Along with those, there are a few other small settings that we might change for all nonlinear analysis. How to do that with one button. If I go to extensions and workbench and go to manage extensions, I'm going to load this NL defaults extension that I've already created as an example. Now I'll go back into ANSYS Mechanical. Once I open up ANSYS Mechanical, you can see that there's a new toolbar at the bottom with a nonlinear default icon on it. Now if I click on it and then go to Analysis Settings, I can see that my default settings have been initiated, including my large deflection being turned on. And if I go to Mesh under Shape Checking, I can see that my shape checking has changed from Standard to Aggressive Mechanical, all with the click of one button. Along that same way, many of the tree items can be changed, including geometry, contact information, other mesh details, or even user cu customized loads and result profiles. All can be clicked and generated with just one button using ACT. Now let's look at how that but toolbar exists within ANSYS Mechanical. An ACT extension comprises of an XML file and a Python file. Now the XML file on the left here basically defines a GUI. So in this case, as an example, the icon for the toolbar button is getting pulled from this images folder. So you can see that that's how it gets the icon information. The on click essentially says, when I click on this button, initiate this function called set NL defaults, which is located in the Python file on the right. And if I look under that, we can see that's exactly the lines used to generate and set the default settings, whether that's for large deflection or auto time stepping, including initial, minimum, and maximum sub steps, as well as the mesh details where we change the shape checking from standard to aggressive mechanical. So you can see the code is very small and it's not very complicated. And this can be easily altered for the default settings that you want to change. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to ACT. Please stay tuned for other videos that will be showing more capabilities using the ANSYS Customization Toolkit. We hope this video was useful and please subscribe to PADT as we will be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. If you have any questions, feel free to call PADT Inc. Otherwise, see you next time.